The topic of this talk is Berchet disease, which is uh, a vasculitis, a systemic vasculitis of unknown etiology. It is quite a rare disorder overall, but in certain populations, such as uh, Middle East uh, population, uh, it can be very frequent, having followed the so-called silk route. In fact, uh, in certain countries, such as uh, Mediterranean countries, uh, uh, Iran, Turkey, for example, many people are affected by this condition. It is characterized by inflammation of uh, blood vessels, uh, and uh, sign and symptoms can vary. Uh, it is rare in pediatric age and in the elderly, and uh, affects uh, preferentially uh, women. The most important uh, clinical feature of this disease is oral and genital ulceration. The combination of oral and genital ulcers in the absence of infection is practically pathognomonic of this disorder. However, the disorder can present in other forms as well, and the phenotype can vary according to the vessel involved. Uh, there is, unfortunately, no diagnostic test available, so diagnosis is essentially clinical. Involvement can be uh, not only cutaneous, which is very frequent, but also gastrointestinal, pulmonary, neurologic, and so on. There have been some criteria that have been designed in order to confirm the diagnosis. However, uh, no set of criteria is uh, sensitive uh, and specific 100%, so clinical acumen uh, is mandatory. Complication of the disorders are mainly the vascular ones, uh, rarely, but the disease can have a very serious outcome with, uh, for example, uh, sinus uh, uh, thrombosis uh, in the brain uh, or uh, pulmonary aneurysm, and uh, there is also a risk of mortality if not treated. Treatment is based uh, on uh, immunosuppression. Uh, uh, initially, for milder cases, uh, topical treatment uh, uh, is uh, sufficient. Uh, subsequently, uh, other forms of uh, treatment, such as uh, colchicine for uh, ulceration mucocutaneous uh, involvement, uh, or other immunosuppressives, uh, such as uh, uh, mycophenolate or azathioprine or corticosteroids, might be needed. In the uh, more recent years, uh, uh, we have had some advances with regard to treatment uh, with the use of uh, new biotherapies, in particular anti-TNF-alpha and IL-1 inhibitors.